Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Francois van der Marwe, and today I'm going to look at Excel and its layout for Excel 2016 for ICAC Trading Academy. First up, let's look at the basic layout. At the top left, we have what's called the Quick Access Toolbar. On the very left, we have a button here that says Save, but you can customize it to whatever you like. If you click down here, you can customize the Quick Access Toolbar to um, add or remove any functions you would like, like for example I can add the open button and if I click on it it will let me open a file. We're already working right now with a specific file and in the middle of your screen at the top usually you can see the name of the file countries.xlsx in Excel. Next to that we have the auto hide ribbon or auto hide tabs or tabs and commands. If I click on that you'll see something disappear and those are the actual ribbon. So if I say show tabs and commands this whole section here that went away is called the ribbon. Then we have the minimize, maximize and close buttons. Right here is where you sign into your um, Microsoft account uh, and this part here that stretches right across is called the ribbon. Uh, at the top we have the tabs, so home tab, insert tab, runs all the way down to view this universal document converter I is extra you can download it as an add-on and that converts files into for example uh, JPEG or picture files the ribbon is subdivided into groups clipboard font alignment and number and that changes depending on which tab you click within the tabs there are groups in the ribbon and the group contains different commands you can click on to activate a specific function on the right hand side here we have right below it the name box the name box uh, contains the name of the box you're currently in to the right of that we have the uh, formula bar the formula bar will have formulas and calculations in it or just the numbers uh, that you typed in to the right of that we have the scroll bar that lets you scroll up and down here we have the zoom function at the bottom right which you can click and drag or you can just click to increase or decrease your zoom. You can also have hold down control on the your keyboard and then roll your mouse button, middle mouse button up and down and that'll increase or decrease the zoom as well. Next to that we have different views. Right now we're in normal view, most people use this, but you can also go to page layout view and uh, this one, the page break preview. That shows you where your page is going to cut off when you actually print it out. But most people just default to the normal view. Then here, the columns uh, run vertically A, B, C, D. They are named according to lettering. And once they go past that, they start again with A, 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 B, A, C, and continues like that. The numbers runs down to, I think, about 65,000. Uh, the numbers indicate a row and where the rows and the columns intersect right here that is called the cell. Uh, that is all for today. Just the basic layout of Excel 2016. Uh, thank you for joining us. Have a good day.